and particularly Department of Ayush, Government of Telangana, Prashanti Madam. We are really, really, you know, we never forget your support in our lifetime. So that is the main three, three, three key supports we received for this to organize this event. So my brief report about the three days conference, I'm here. Ayush doctors, scholars, students, drug manufacturers, distinguished guests, participants, wellness seeking public, media friends, all from across the world, whosoever taking part in this Vasta ExpoCon program directly and it virtually. A very good morning to all of you. And I thank our honorable minister and other guests. Out of their busy schedule, they have given us the time to, to be part of this program. And before going to the just brief report, I thought, let me pray my sincere pranams to all the family members of the healthcare professionals who sacrificed the lives of their nears and dears during COVID. And also I thank all the healthcare professionals for their remarkable services during COVID. That is our minimum courtesy. I welcome you all to one of the most livable cities in the world, that is Hyderabad, popularly known as Pearl City. Maybe you people might be knowing that about Hyderabad, the capital city of India's youngest state, Telangana, and is epicenter for life sciences, bird drugs, vaccine production, IT, and many, many, many more fields. I'm happy to be part of this Swastya ExpoCon program because usually you people must have seen young scholars, conferences, congress, workshops, CMEs being organized in silos separately by every system. Because I'm, I'm uh, by profession, I'm an Ayurvedic doctor, but I have a passion to read homeopathy, Yunani, Siddha, naturopathy, and all the systems. And always, I feel, we, we speak about the integration. But by, by, by default, it means that integration too, you are, you are trying to integrate yourself with the modern medicine. But rather, I feel, why can't we think there are the knowledges which are disintegrated from our day-to-day -day knowledge? Hope you, you, you people must have heard, India is the global world leader Vishwaguru. It used to be called as Vishwaguru. And I never ever, I never thought of what actually made our India as a Vishwaguru. Is our bombs? Is our missiles? No. It is a soft power that is Indian knowledge systems. That actually stood over India as an Avishwa Guru. But all these years, we lost our Indian knowledge system. And our all eye systems are the part of Indian knowledge system. But, but the point is, we could not connect these sciences with the society. It is, it is the responsibility of all of you, all of us, and to, to, to conduct this main event, to, to create the connecting between, between the sciences, I sciences and the society. This connection between the science and society is missing. So it is everybody's responsibility, it is everybody's responsibility to, to take this vision forward. And, and we are moving, we, we are moving with the vision that is Viksit Bharat, that is developed India by 2047. How could it be? India and so it cannot become a developed India. It is every every citizen responsible to citizen to take some initiative on their own as a system, as a society, and as a whole to make India develop India by 2047. And the point is, as I said, because every time every system is doing their own systems. But never, never and ever we are given opportunity to listen to other. Being an Ayurveda fellow, I want to listen home, you know, fellow. And uh, being an Yunani fellow, he wants to listen to uh, you know, Ayurveda, maybe homeopathy. So we are never given an opportunity, provided an opportunity to be to bring all the people to enter the common platform, just have an across exchange of ideas. Probably you must have heard the life stories of the Nobel laureates. He probably started his education journey from physics and entered into chemistry, then biochemistry, and, and at the end of the day, at the age of 70, he landed into a, receiving a Nobel Prize. So this being exposed to the different fields of sciences makes us to the cross-pollination of ideas. This cross-pollination of ideas leads to the innovation that in turn leads to the Nobel Prize. So that's how this, this well, our attempt, our sincere attempt is, is to bring all the people. It's not the in silos. Always we are, you know, 
though we say as an ayush but never we we try to to come onto one platform that's our sincere effort to bring them all into the one platform so i uh, for, for these huge efforts to bring them all under one roof uh, the, i appreciate the initiative taken by the jeevasri wellness and ms panisri garu and the swasthya team for making this herculean task possible and you know telangana government always is a pioneering efforts and telangana is the only the state in the whole india the pan india which actually taken a proactive steps included ai system particularly ayurveda in you know in the mucor mycosis management so that's how it needs a great applause for, for the this proactive efforts by the, the by the you know department of ayush and the government of telangana